Hi everyone, this is Dr. Students coming to you again with a new video. Today I'm going to show you how to get the Linksys WUSB 600N wireless and USB knockout adapter working with microwave Snow Leopard. Um, this adapter currently, as it says from the support page from um, Linksys, that it only works with Windows 7, Windows Vista, and Windows XP. But I got it working with macOS Snow Leopard 10.6.8. So first things we need to do, we're going to download um, a few pieces of software to get this to get this working. Um, first, we're going to need um, the Real Link driver. We're going to need um, Text Wrangler and Kex Utility. First off, you're going to go to the Real Link website. You're going to click on Support. Um, Hit on Mac OS X download as of today, October 16th, 2011. You can download the, um, the real link version for this chip, chip which is um, the, RT, the RT 2870 here, which is as the moment version 4.1.70. Um, you want to download this to your desktop or in a download folder. First, you're going to um, download it, install, reboot. Your computer reboot after you've installed the driver. Next, you're going to go to Finder. You're going to um, your system hard drive. You're going to system folder, library. You're going to go to oops, sorry, um, you're going to go to system library and extensions oops I want to get up there you're gonna to go to um to the um the driver which is the kex inside the extensions folder which is our like like a folder at the moment because I already installed text wrangler if you, guys, if you haven't installed text wrangler yet, you can do so now you will go into the um, open the folder with the contents info when you first start open, open the file. You're gonna um, you can see a long list of um different different um, names for USB adapters inside the folder. We're gonna scroll down to to Linksys. We're gonna scroll down to Linksys. On. This had it here. Oh, there it is. Is that open already? Okay, I read it open already. Just scroll down to the Linksys RT2870 line. This line. And you want to go to the integer value line, which is this one, which will have inside of it um, before it either have 112 or 113, as you see up here. For the real link RT2870 links this specific USB adapter, which you're going to see as either 113 or 112 inside the interior line. Change that from 113 or whatever, or 112, whatever the value is inside, to 121. After that, you're going to you're going to you're going to save and quit inside of Text Wrangler, which is going to ask you to save save it. After that, you're going to go into um, if you have a Mac, uh, um, a Mac or a Hackintosh, you're going to need Kex Utility. It's an um, application. Or you, if you have a Mac, you can use um, Repair Permissions on the disk. Or if you have a Macintosh, I mean Hackintosh, sorry, you can use Kex Utility, which you already can download from the OX X64 by using MultiBeast. You're going to go into, oh, sorry, you're going to go. I already have in my applications, cast utility, hit cast utility, and ask for password, type in your password. It's going to repair um, repair your permissions on your CACs and everything, repair, catch, and permissions. Run it. 
I mean, run is probably going to take probably um, around three to four minutes. It's not going to take that long. Just wait for it. Wait till it does what it needs to do. He's almost finished. Probably not even four minutes, probably one to two minutes, depending on how long we've actually um, prepared a cast. Okay, it's all done. So I'm going to quit. I'm going to reboot again. Reboot to your system again. Next, after reboot, after you reboot, after running broadcast utility, reboot your system. Next, you're going to plug in your WSB 600 n and then as as soon as you're plugged in, it's gonna open your wireless utility just like this as you can see. After that, you're gonna add it's gonna ask you to connect to your whatever your wireless network is. I did already did my profile, you're gonna add a profile to all your settings for uh, and add in your web key, your infrastructure web, whatever encryption, authentication, open whatever network type infrastructure. Add it to the profile. As you can see, I have a good signal. Then quality is about 100. Signal strength one is now 60, 68. Um, next scene. I see it picks up already. After you reboot, you can see this open up the virus utility. Add your profile. Right now, my virus mode is working in 2.4 gigahertz. You can go as 2. Point, as you can see, the virus US the virus WSB 600N works in 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. Wireless bands, so depending on whatever router you have, you can go both ways. Depending on whatever your router connection, wireless, is already, what bands is already, um, where remote is already in. After that, if you did all your profile, um, the first, the first thing you need to do is after you after you've done this, click on it and hit activate. On the, my first try when I did this, it um, my system saw it, but I didn't get it didn't get internet access. I was trying to figure out why. It, it didn't get internet after doing all my um, profile, my web key, connecting to my wireless router. The important thing, the point, the important step you have to do right here is to activate the profile. Once you activate the profile, it should it should activate. You should see now connect. You should connect to the to the um, to your wireless router, and you should have internet working. So let's. You should have internet working. Um, next, you're going to, as you can see from the um, support page, for for my wireless adapter, I have the, the dual band wireless and USB version two adapter um, specific. This is my USB adapter. Um, I realized that there's two different versions. On uh, if you do a Google search, the two different versions are different. That looks way different than the one that I have here. This is the one that I have. This specific one with the Linksys and Cisco in front of the alt. In routing, there's the old, there's the older one with a different look. But this is the specific one that I have, which you can use to connect to any wireless router using Mac OS Snow Leopard. Or lion, I would guess it work in lion as well. So, so for now, that's how we get the lenses with WSB 600N version two working on the real link, real link driver, and that is, and that would be the. I think that's it. If you if you need if you have any questions, you can PM me. You can um, go to my Facebook website. Or you can PM me here or comment on my video. I can help other people who have um, done a bit, need help to connect your USB adapter in Mac OS. If you need um, information on how to get in a Hackintosh system just like mine, you can go to um, 20macx86.com forum to see um, successful builds of users who are currently in the process of, well, of building the system, you can find out information, recent information, what kind of hardware, video card if you want to do. So head on over there, and they got a, it's a great community. They help you with um, almost anything. Be open minded. Don't give up. It might be hard at first, but in the end, you'll get a full 100% working 
macOS macOS either macOS Snow Leopard or macOS Snow Lion. Oh, I'm sorry, macOS Lion. Thank you for watching my video and good luck.